So hello! Today we're looking at the Sen model, the four-armed kangaroo. And my good friend Semi is going to help me demonstrate some of the features of this avatar. You'll notice by default we start off with a four-armed mirroring type of control. Um, this is a great place to start because you don't have to do anything special. All you have to do is just move and it looks good. But if you want to get a good picture and you're trying to do something special, you might have to have more control than that. So this avatar has the following feature. You can do a thumbs up gesture and then press the thumb down into a fist and then you'll be controlling the other hand, just one of them. If you do it again, you'll control both. And if you do it again, you'll only control the small one. And you can wave with your tiny little hands. And uh, you can do it with both hands. So you can do like one big hand, one small hand, or whatever combination you want. All right, but not everybody likes to do the thumbs up fist motion. So in the menus, we also have a control mode um, there is a just fist mode and squeeze mode. So fist mode, you simply make a fist and it just does it. Um, and, and that's it. You know, it's just very, very simple, very straightforward. Squeeze is where you have to make a fist and you have to fully squeeze the grip all the way for it to do its thing. And it behaves the same way. So that's just three different ways you can control it and swap between the different modes. Next, you have uh, alternate directly. So with that option, what you can do is um, instead of having to go into mirror mode in the middle, you can actually go directly to the other set of hands immediately. So we do a thumbs up, this, and now I'm controlling the other set of hands. And then I can reverse that. But you'll notice that if I do that, it's very tough to, to move quick enough to control the other set of hands and make them look good. So there is a delay that you can turn on. So delay enable. And delay enable allows you to have just a second before it actually swaps. And then you can make uh, make a good gesture. You can swap the hands. You can do whatever you like. And you can do this per hand. So you can have one hand doing the small hand, one hand doing the big hand, kind of alternate however you'd like. Let me just get back to a regular pose here. Okay, so now I'm controlling just the big ones. All right. And then there is also, this is uh, something you won't be able to see on the camera, but um, there is an option for show real hands. And what this does is it shows a tiny blue sphere um, wherever your real hands are, okay? And the reason that's here is because sometimes your hands aren't actually controlling your hands and you might need to know where your hands really are. Um, so that's just a, a good indicator to know, oh, my hands are really in this location. Turn that off. Um, you can also disable the mirror. So when you're in the regular mode, um, um, you can actually have it go from controlling one set of hands to controlling no hands. Um, I know you can't necessarily see that, but I'm actually moving my, my hands and nothing's happening. Um, and then when you do it again, you can control the small set of hands. And then no no hands, so it takes a second. And then just big hands and back forth that way. That's most of the controls for regular, what I would say is like like regular use. But there are some manual overrides too. So for each hand, there is a pose mode. And while you're in pose mode, your hand doesn't actually control anything until you press the button. So I'm gonna press main hand and then move my main hand around and I can kind of pose it wherever I like. And then I can do the same for the small hand. And back and forth. Um, you can also toggle it to mirror just to force yourself into mirror mode. Once you you leave that menu, you go out of that mode, and now you're back to regular controls. Um, so you can swap hands or mirror, whatever you'd like. Uh, the manual mode after that is just a manual selection of which mode you'd like to be in, and it just stays in that mode. Nothing real special. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the hand controls. Uh, let me go into mirror mode myself. There we go. So now let's go over the tail ears. So there is a ear puppet, which you'll find goes up, back, to the sides. Pretty cute. You have a tail puppet where you can go to the sides, either side, up, down, have it come all the way down between your legs. Uh, there's also a tail wag option. So when you turn that on, your tail just is innately wagging. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to force it to happen. Um, and it has a speed, so you can change the speed faster, so like a little tiny wag, or you can change it really slow to a subtle wag. 
and just kind of have it move back and forth slowly. Um, the tail actually does have some gestures. So when you make certain gestures, like for example, this one, my tail pops up behind my head and I, I look real angry right now. Um, but uh, you can actually disable that if you'd like. So then now the tail won't do anything. The tail won't actually jump up, but you'll still make the gesture. All right, last thing I have is body shape. So this avatar has five different um, body shape sliders. Um, you have uh, chubbiness, so you can go like real chub. <laughs> you can also go muscle. Let me turn that one off. You have um, feminine lower, so it actually does like a little different shape here in general. You have feminine hips, which does this. And you have feminine upper which does this. And you can set those to default, whatever you like. The demo avatars that we have on right now actually will not save that setting. Um, they will simply re revert every time you go to a different world. Um, that's intentional, it's just a demo avatar, it's all it's for. But when you actually purchase it, you can, you can modify those and keep them static. Otherwise, I think that's all we've got. Thank you so much, Semi. No problem. And to all of you. Bye.